And Walt Grayson is here to take us on a very interesting <laughs> look around Mississippi. Walt has been over to Leake County where a cat recently had some kittens. Had kittens. That's, that's not and anything you're going to find on Top <laughs> Story so far. But until you learn that a little squirrel had a, a litter about the same time this cat had kittens, and then what developed after that really gets interesting. Emmy the cat gets my nomination for Kitty Mother of the Year. Not that Emmy doesn't just lie around like other cats and occasionally scratch her claws on something you wish you wouldn't. But there arose a situation around the time she had her kittens that Emmy has stepped up to the plate and helped solve. Well, she's taken in a baby squirrel and is providing a plate for the little squirrel at her table along with the rest of the kittens. She's very protective of it. If it starts to move and she don't like where it's going, she'll reach up and pull it back, start licking it, you know, and taking care of it just like she would one of her kittens. Jim Watkins and his wife Karen of Carthage have helped organize Central Mississippi Tales. It stands for taking animals into loving shelters. Now that's how Jim and Karen got Emmy and her extended family. Emmy's owner lived where she couldn't have pets and called her vet to see what she could do with the new family. I seem to be the go-to girl from my vet. Anytime someone has a cat, they can't take care of. I'm the one they call. And that's how we wound up with 18 cats and a squirrel. And the squirrel came as a gift from the sky. Just before Emmy's owner gave her up, a baby squirrel fell out of the nest and landed in the yard. And not being able to climb a tree and put it back, the lady did the next best thing. And she put the squirrel in the uh, box with the kittens. And she just immediately accepted it and adopted it, started feeding it, has raised it just like hers. But if a mama cat adopting a squirrel is amazing, the ability of the baby squirrel to adapt is even more so. Oh, the squirrel, you can pick it up and pet it. It'll start to purr just like a kitten does. Rocky, they've named the squirrel, may go on and grow up always thinking it's a cat who can just climb trees better than others. It would have to be a pet from this point on. He'll never be able to survive on his own at this point because of the way he's been raised. So we'll, we'll probably wind up with him. So the circle of adoption goes on and on. Cat to squirrel to people. Everybody looking out for him and accepting the other. I think, we, I think we need to go back in a year and see if Rocky has, has learned how to meow. You have got to go back. That is a great story. Oh, I'll do it. And Rocky's pretty rambunctious, isn't he? Yeah, I'm Which glad one? they're the ones that decided <laughs> to adopt Rocky.